always be here if we consider the story you tell of a dream you had once you say that there was once a glass full of oil it fell down and broke into pieces and that's how I came to exist so funny if that was the reality I would end the story saying that when the, the glass fell down it fell downwards because all the oil that contained the glass came to me and some drops remained in your pieces. You should end the story always like that. Okay. And it pissed me off sometimes, you know? I hate the fact that you act like you made me and try to make me believe that I rely on you. I do not rely on you. If I relied on you, I would not be Africa now. I would be something else. You try to pull me down by your knees. You try to pull me down on your knees, but I remained fine and made the pain freeze. You continued to stab my child, but you forgot I was still giving birth to more light. Shout out to all my branches whose efforts made me resist the oppression of the so-called aristocracy due to the skin color. My son Mandela, Gaddafi, Thomas Sankala, Paul Kagame, Mwalimu Julius Nyerere, and all African American brothers who are still fighting to see this better world without any discrimination. As I told you, I'm beautiful and I'm enough. I can satisfy your needs and help the other pieces. I'm a rare piece of art. My style, my cultures, my food, my music, my vitamins, which many of you call minerals my recruits and my history. All this should be your legacy to carry on. I believe in you, but cannot fight alone. I have resisted and kept my originality, but some of you try their best to destroy me by making themselves who they are not, and that make me wonder if I'm not good enough for you. Protect what you have, do not make it stop. Embrace your beauty, I swear you're not ugly. And make in me, I will always be the land on which you relax, the sky on which you fly, the mother of all humankind, because my name is Africa. <laughs> <laughs> 